Welcome! The first thing you're going to see is two screens. The one on the right with the tutorial on it is the window where you're going to select songs and change settings, while the one on the left is the playfield where the gameplay will happen. First you should move and scale both screens to fit your setup, especially the playfield. Make sure that the playfield matches your height and arm length, because otherwise you're going to have a bad time. The best way of configuring the playfield is to stretch out your arms at a 45 degree angle like this and making sure that the cursors comfortably fit in both corners. Let okay, touch a bit. Next you can make a circular motion with both arms and check that you can reach all four edges of the playfield. And that should be it. Also don't put the playfield too close to the edge of your play area because otherwise you're going to see the chaperone bounce popping in all the time. Scaling works by holding both triggers, pointing at the screen and moving your controllers apart. So, assuming that you have already downloaded, installed, configured and set up OS and some beatmaps, you can start playing. The keyboard button on the right pops up the SteamVR keyboard and I'm going to search for Potato. On top of the window is the volume slider, it's pretty obvious. And since I don't want to kill myself, I'm going to override the approach rate or the speed at which hit objects will become visible and fly towards you to around 7. Most O speed maps nowadays use around approach rate 9 and that's definitely not enjoyable for me because you, you have no time to react since you have the, the controllers, they have quite a bit of weight and moving them together with your hands that's pretty much impossible. If a bitmap is not in sync, press the menu button to pause and use the plus and minus buttons on the bottom to change the local offset. There is also a global offset, but this is local per bitmap. Usually a negative offset of around minus 15 milliseconds was fine for the bitmaps I've tried that were not properly synced, but your experience may differ. There is also the settings menu and I can only urge you to read through all the settings because you will almost definitely find what you are looking for. This includes standard OS settings such as the cursor size or effect volume, but also VR specific things like anti-aliasing and super sampling. For VR you can change quite a bit, for example the controller color, the background color, the VR playfield cursor opacity, but also a very important parameter, the approach distance from which hit objects will spawn and start fading in. By default, the approach distance is set to 15 meters, and I wouldn't put it closer than 5 meters or so, since that would defeat the purpose a bit, but you are free to choose whatever you like. Another OS setting that may be useful is the HUD scale, which scales all HUD elements. There is also the VR HUD scale, but that scales the entire virtual HUD as a whole instead of individual elements. If you just want to play regular OS with one cursor, you can disable automatic primary controller switching and disable draw VR playfield. And you will be left with just the regular desktop playfield while playing. Alright, thanks for watching. Go join the MacOS Discord channel and please enjoy game.